Uh, now, tributes today have been paid from across the British music scene to the entrepreneur Jamal Edwards, who has died at the age of just 31. A pioneering figure in British rap and grime music, he founded SBTV, the YouTube channel that launched the careers of the likes of Ed Sheeran, Stormzy and Jesse J, to name but a few. Well, joining me now uh, to reflect on the news, a British rapper and singer Hardy Caprio and DJ and radio presenter Vanny Yelder, who is better known to his followers as D Rhymes. And um, good afternoon to you both, gentlemen. Thank you so much for taking the time today. I know you both knew um, Jamal Edwards personally. Um, so I'd like to start um, with your memories of him when you first met him and what he did for you. Hardy, if I could come to you first, when did you first meet Jamal? So I personally met Jamal in 2015 in West London when he first filmed one of my videos, a warm-up session on SBTV, his platform. Um, yeah, that was the first time I met Jamal. And you tweeted a tribute, um, Hardy, earlier on, saying, you took us kids from a council estate to voices in the mainstream, and by that, helped us provide for all our families. We're forever in debt to you. You said he literally saved lives. Tell us how, Hardy. So Jamal started with SBTV. I think he started in probably the late 2000s. And I was still a school kid then. I was um, a secondary school kid. Every day we would go after school and watch videos on his channel from like the F64s um, to the acoustic sessions to everything. So you had like young artists like Crepton Conan, I remember first seeing Crepton Conan on there. They're artists from our area, from Fulton Heath. And he was just giving us a platform to be seen, essentially. Um, we ended up, we started from like a council estate to us getting like millions and millions of views. And it was, he was a person going out of his way to personally film us from like the likes of Dave. Like I know he would go there personally film Dave, Jay Huss, he would personally film, personally go out of his way to film us. We're much younger than Jamal. We're from a different generation to Jamal. And he was just giving us a platform no matter how far his platform had gone. So he would get like a million subscribers and he would still be filming us from the Skeptors to us now. So indirectly and directly, he's changed all of our lives to like the parents that like, personally, like my mom, she can sleep in a house tonight. And it's courtesy of the platform that he's given me to hear, for people to hear my voice, to hear all of our voices from London, to yeah. be honest with you, London, Birmingham, Manchester, all around the UK even. Yeah, he really did represent everyone all over Britain and their music. And as you said, he provided a voice to so many. He said he was older than you, but he started when he was 15. He opened the door and let loads of people follow him through. Um, Banny, if I can come to you, how, how did Jamal Edwards inspire you? How did he help your career? Well, me being a, a West London artist, you know, me being from Ealing, Jamal being from Acton, I mean, knowing Jamal from when I used to record at Bolo Studios and acting, that's where I first met him. Um, a lot of people know him as Jamal Edwards, but we, we really knew him as Smokey Bars because, you know, he used to rap as well, and, and Jamal could definitely rap. And um, his trajectory into um, helping people out and supporting artists, going out of his way, like Hardy said, going to different areas, especially, of course, you know, being from West London, helping artists like myself, um, giving me a platform, I managed to uh, get one of my very, very um, sort of successful tracks with an artist called Joe Black on his platform. He managed to put it out on my birthday as well. So he was just a very selfless, loving person, always humble, always smiling, always going out of his way to help, uh, help people, help artists, and just, you know, it's a very, very, very big shock to the music industry, a very big shock uh, to West London. I mean, my studio is based in Acton. I had to drive past his uh, memorial, which is in Acton Town Centre, and I saw people um, standing outside and laying down flowers. I'm very, very, very shocked and still in, bis in disbelief. We definitely lost a legend, and you can't call him uh, nothing less than a legend. So rest in peace to Jamal Edwards. Yeah, so young as well, 31. When we're talking about his life and his legacy today, 
he crammed in five lives, <laughs> lives into one. Hardy, he's been described as such a positive role model. I mean, um, Banny mentioned there he was uh, a rapper himself. He was also a DJ. He was an entrepreneur. He was a philanthropist. He showed young black men that you could do anything you wanted. When we talk about representation, when there was no representation of British rap or grime online, he gave you a voice. How much of a legacy does he leave in your mind? I believe it will last forever. As you can see that everyone across the internet was devastated. He's left an impact, impact on all of our lives indefinitely. And I think this will last forever because we feel it now. We're a byproduct of his change. Me being here is because of the efforts that he done with artists such as D Rams and Joe Black. When I was in secondary school, I was watching them. So even him telling his story, I'm a byproduct of that. And I'm sure the younger generation are a byproduct of what they've seen him do with me. So this is forever. Like we said, it's shocking news, but the, he's built something that will last generations and generations. Even the fact that young black artists are being filmed to this day, all is a byproduct of his passion to get everyone heard. Like he could have been focused on himself, but as D-Ryan stated, he was selfless enough to just go to the various areas, even when there was conflict and tension, and just film us and focus on the positive in that area and focus on the positive messages that we have now, like the Daves and the Stormzies. So, yeah, man, it was it's, it's really shocking news. I, I can't understate that, but a legend lives on. Yeah, it was a short life, but what a life. And so many people who are just hearing about him for the first time today are finding out, out about that legacy. So his story uh, lives on. Hardy Caprio and uh, Banny Yelder, known as DJ D Rhymes, really good to hear uh, from you this afternoon. A final word to Jamal, who fittingly uh, posted online uh, in 2012, we all die, the goal isn't to live forever, the goal is to create something that will. And he certainly did that.